Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And this is a video about the subconscious symbolism and the acting out that are likely to result from our given names and the places where we live, specifically the streets where we live. And this can also be applied to other types of names that we, our subconscious mind identifies with, such as our last name or surname, and um, our the town that we lived in as children. Every name has its has its um, subconscious symbolism, and I have more like than not seen people um, acting out the symbolism of their names on a subconscious level uh, throughout my life. And you will find that so true if you t also if you go to to, into an analysis of people's names. For instance, my first name, Alice. Um, when I was young, I used people used to say, what's your first name? And I'd say Alice, as in Alice in Wonderland, right? And I said that so many times, and they did remember very well because of that. But the problem is that I said it so many times that I sort of got the feeling that I was living uh, an imaginary life instead of a real life, you know? So these... Um, these terms that we use that are associated with our names have, um, have a great significance in our lives. Um, also, the streets that we grow up on have a, a subconscious symbolism. Um, for instance, I grew up on a street called Ritchie Marlboro Road because at one end of that long country road, there was an intersection of the of the road that went, uh, well, there was a place called Ritchie Store, which was the only store in that area back then. And now it's like totally subdivisions and so forth. But there was a Ritchie Store. It was a great landmark. And you could get gas there as well as, you know, candy, things like that. And the other end of the road went to Marlboro. It was a city, a little city, a county seat of Prince George's County. And so it was called, the road that we lived on was called the Ritchie Marlboro Road, right? So these these two things, um, the word Ritchie and the word Marlboro have significant... Marlboro is associated with the notion of smoking tobacco, so there is this issue to avoid. And uh, Ritchie has to do with the notion that, that you're better than other people, you know? That you're the rich people, even though you're not the rich people. <laughs> so there's a tendency to look down on other people, and there's a tendency to use um, um, tobacco, and those things both need to be avoided. And that's just one example.